Why Agent Wilmore? Why Agent Cook? You picked a great day to be late. There's some big gun in from D.C. I don't know what's up, but it looks serious. I doubt it has anything to do with us. Did he say anything to you? No. Did he ask about me? Calm down, my friend. You're looking a little guilty. What's the matter with you? I don't want that. I don't want that. Don't do that. Don't do that. So, okay. What's happening? You can't just sit on this. You gotta tell me what's happening. Jesus, if there's a brass button in the building, you're gonna kiss it, aren't you? Oh, come on, man, tell me. There's a couple of missing agencies trying to find, okay? You know, the usual. Missing FBI agents. Who? Pair out of D.C., Mulder and Scully, male and female. Will you file an APB on Mulder and Scully for me? Yes. What's the matter with you? I don't want that. Don't do that. We're looking for information on two FBI agents who checked in here. Look, I told you, I need to see some ID. What's the matter with you? Don't do that. I don't know anything about that. Agent Wilmore, the prodigal son returns. I could use some help with this case. Okay, let me review your notes. You want to get that laptop working. Call the computer crimes division and have somebody take a look at it. The rest of it looks pretty good. What's the matter with you? Don't do that. I don't want that. What's the matter with you? Don't do that. Hey pal, how's it going out there? I'm sure you're sucking up to Skinner appropriately. It's going good. Cool. What's Skinner like? He's all right. Well, I'm glad to hear that. You know, it could be better. Well, that's too bad. What's the problem? None of these leads makes any sense. Well, give it some time. We don't have time. I hear you. We found blood at a location they called? I don't know, I got a bad feeling. Hey, you know the drill. Wait for the test before drawing any conclusions. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right about that. Hey, listen. If you need anything, you just let me know, okay? Thanks, man. I just don't have much of a handle on what's happening here. This is the problem. Talk to me.
I don't, I don't have all the information. Something is missing. So, get back out there. No, it's not that. The field work is fine. It's something else. Like what? Something hidden? Something I can't see? You think Skinner's involved? I don't know. There's no clear-cut event I can get my brain around. Maybe he's just working under Skinner. I know, I'd be nervous if it were me. Yeah, it could be that, I guess. I'm just not thinking very clearly. Have you been sleeping? Like a baby. Well, that's something. A little. Good. A little's better than none. Not very well. That's not good. Maybe you should see a doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a wink. No wonder you can't think. You better do something about that. Yeah. Well, they're still missing. Thanks for the bulletin. But really, anything I can do to help? No, not right now. Well, if you think of anything, you let me know. I will, thanks. You can call Computer Crimes and have them check out this laptop. You got it. Thanks, man. I'll let you know what I find out. Run a background check on a James Wong. No problem. I'll email you the results. Shoot me in the head? Tempting. But the Bureau frowns on that kind of fraternization. You're on your own. Story of my life. Well, you could always hang yourself with your shoelaces. Well, I learned how to suck up from you, remember? Oh, yeah, right. What's Skinner like? Kind of a tight ass. Hmm. Well, I'm sure he's torqued about his missing people. He and Shanks should have babies. Hmm. Well, I'm sure he's torqued about his missing people. What's with the laptop? No, oh, Scully's. It's password protected. You want me to call Computer Crimes Division and see what they can do? No, I'll do it. Okay, fine. How did you know about Wong? What? How did you know I went to see Wong yesterday? You told me. Hey, I was the one hit on the head, remember? I told you about Wong? I just forgot, I guess. What's the matter with you? Don't do that. I don't want that. Special Agent Craig Wilmore, FBI. FBI? What's the Bureau's interest in this case? We think Wong may have a connection to this warehouse. Well, he did dock his boat next door, so I wouldn't discard it out of hand. You want to maybe fill me in on the details? Wong lied to me when I questioned him yesterday. This is not surprising. What did he lie to you about? His background. Well, if I had a background like his, I'd probably lie about it too. So, what did you say you're investigating again? I can't reveal that to you. Charming. Well, listen, Mr. Federal Bureau of Instigation, you better reveal something to me or I'll have you escorted off this crime scene. You can't do that. Try me. Sorry. I'm sorry, you're right. I'm investigating the disappearance of two FBI agents. Okay, so what's the connection to this man? My investigation led me to this warehouse. Inside we found evidence of foul play. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Sure. You get what you give, okay? All you feds are all alike. Big tough guys just love to push around the locals. I don't want any trouble either. So feel free to nose around if you want to, but stay out of my way. I'm assuming jurisdiction in this case. 
Okay, but let it be on your head. Mendoza! Yeah, Detective. Escort this man beyond the perimeter. I'll have your job for this. You're trading in your badge for a chalk stick, and you're going to be writing parking tickets in Pioneer Square. Escort this man beyond the perimeter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm investigating the disappearance of two FBI agents. Okay, so what's the connection to this man? My investigation led me to this warehouse. Inside we found evidence of foul play. I questioned this man yesterday. Ah, so maybe I should consider you a suspect. What did you question him about? Illegal activities in this warehouse. Well, it does make sense that he'd be connected to your illegal activities. I'll do what I can to help. Unusual occurrences in the area. Unusual occurrences? Like what, UFOs? I wish. No, just your garden variety criminal activity. Oh, well, that's not too unusual around here. I'll do what I can to help. That's a lovely color on you. Thank you. Uh, let's just stick to business, all right? What's the matter with you? Don't do that. This looks interesting. Looks like Cyrillic. Seattle PD has a task force investigating smuggling out of the former Soviet Union. They've got a full-time translator over there. I can get a translator. Okay. Well, that was easy. I thought certainly you would give me grief about that. No, if Seattle PD has the resources, let's take advantage of them. Well, that's a commendable attitude. Do you mind if I have the FBI handle this? I don't think so, but give me a copy of the translation, all right? Of course. Have you seen anything else like this recently? No. How long have you been taking? I don't know anything about that. <sighs> what the hell have we stumbled onto here? Well, I have some theories. Okay, I'm listening. Well, uh... Oh my god. What is it? I think I know what's going on here. Oh, Jesus. I hope I'm wrong. What? This case is much bigger than I first thought. Boy, that's an understatement. How is Mulder and Scully's case linked to Wong? Good question. Through the Terracon, obviously. But what is the one thing that ties them all together? We need to figure out what caused the fire on the Terracon. The mysterious hull-only fire, you mean? Sure, let's as good a place to start as any. Okay. So what would cause such a fire? A uh, chemical, maybe? Oh. oh. Very cool. Cyrillic? I guess. I just need it translated. So let it be written. So let it be... This is Barbara. I just bought this machine and... I can't do a thing with it. If you have a listed number, I can call you back using Call Watch. If not, I guess you'll have to try your call again later. Thanks. What are you doing? No, ma'am, what the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be keeping me informed about your case. Have I been informed? No. Hey, shut up! Jesus. You act like you're the center of the whole friggin' universe here. Why don't you try asking me about this before you start screaming at me? And I'm sorry if you had a bad day, dear. But either you treat me civilly or get the hell out of my house. Have I been informed? No. I... Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Let's talk about this, okay? 
There's no need to go ballistic. Let's just talk. Have I been informed? No. I... You know why I haven't kept you informed? Because I've been busting my ass in the field. You ought to try it sometime. That was harsh. Well, that's more than a little paranoid. Maybe, but better paranoid than dead. I could see your point, but that still doesn't add up to corruption. What the hell else could it mean? It makes perfect sense. A high-powered smuggling ring is paying federal officials to look the other way. Mulder and Scully stumbled onto it and got whacked. You may be right. It makes perfect sense. A high-powered smuggling ring is paying federal officials to look the other way. Mulder and Scully stumbled onto it and got whacked. So who are these guys working for? The Bureau. They got the Joe Friday dress code down pat. I don't have squat. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I just don't have any leads that make any sense. That's too bad. What does Skinner think? I don't know. I haven't talked to him. Well, just keep me informed and I'll do what I can to... Doesn't look good. Mulder and Scully had some bodies exhumed for autopsies and they were stolen out of the morgue. Wong was totally eaten alive with cancer. Signs are that there's a smuggling ring bringing in radioactive materials to uh, Seattle from the far eastern Russia. I think Mulder and Scully got too close. So, who were the suits in the sedan? I don't know. I haven't figured that one out. So, what do you think? What was that? I have no idea, but his injuries are identical to those from the Terracon, and all of the gas station's electronic equipment stopped working. So what do you think it is? I have no clue. Neither do I, but there is no doubt in my mind that this death is connected to those from on board the Terracon. A weapon of some sort? Could be, but what? I mean, I've never heard of anything like this, and that powerful, it's scary. I'm gonna head over to Truitt's. The body's over there, and I wanna see what she's found out. Oh, did you get that Cyrillic document translated? Uh, I dropped it at the lab. I still need to call and get the translation faxed over. Lab, Amos speaking. Hey, John, it's Wilmore. Did you finish that translation on that Russian text I gave you? Show sure enough, boss. Well, could you fax it to me here at home? Uh, yeah, and I'll send along some other stuff I've been working on. Thanks, man. So, Wong worked for the Russians. That explains a lot, the cancer and why I was killed. I think we should check out Gordon's hauling first. In Charno? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. It's four hours away, but then we can hit Truitt's on the way back. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, you're a nice guy and all that, but let's just keep this professional, okay? I had turned that case over to the task force, and you two cowboys go running off shooting up a place without so much as a phone call? Do you have any idea how stupid I look? Cook called you. He did not. He did. He said he asked for SWAT backup, though they never did show up and we could have used I thought you knew about it. How the hell would I have known about it? Cook called you. He did not. He did. He said he asked for SWAT backup, though they never did show up and we could have used the support. Look, don't lie to me. Calm down. We busted Smolnik off. That's all that matters. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's all that matters. Forget my reputation. Forget that my fellow officers have been working on breaking that ring for two years. Forget all of that because the big bad Federales got their bust. Agent Romo. You son of a bitch. What the hell? Did you... That's not really appropriate, Agent Wilmore. 
I suggest we start again. So, it's the mystery man. I was expecting someone a little more Sean Connery. I think that'll be quite enough, Agent Wilmore. We don't have much time. So I want you to listen to me very carefully. Stay right there, that's far enough. This is not a game, son. I'm serious. So am I. Who are you? I have very little patience and even less time. Do I have your word? I can't make that promise until I know who you are. It doesn't matter who I am. I need your word, Agent Wilmore. I've had a feeling that was the case. Listen to me. If you're going to help Scully and Mulder, you're going to need something more than a gun. So what is it? UFOs or secret government experiments? I do admire your cynicism, Agent Wilmore. Too bad it's diluted with such naivete. Listen to me. Who do you work for? If you're going to help Scully and Mulder. That case has been solved. <laughs> you are more inept than I had thought. I'm tempted not to waste my time on you. Listen to me. Are you with the Bureau? This man is not what he seems. Do I know this man? This man is not what he seems. This man is... How do you know about me? This man is not what he seems. What's his name? This man is not what he seems. What is your interest in all this? This man is not what he seems. We're looking for a Jane Doe. I see some identification. Uh, of course. How did you know we were cops? Who else would come looking for a Jane Doe? That's a good point. What's your business with her? We need to make sure she's all right. Of course. What is her name? Thank you. There are some forms to fill out. My office is right down the hall here. Why would you think we knew her name? Otherwise, why would you be investigating unless you knew who she was? That's a good point. So what is it? Yes. Uh, do you recall the name of her immediate superior? I need to phone him and I've misplaced his information. Shank? Thank you. I'm looking for my sister. I see. And what's your name? Dana. Yes, her room is right down the hall here. We're looking for Dana Scully. And who might... Her brother. Yes. Agent Mulder sent us. Agent Mulder? Where is he? We're looking for him. If you're looking for him, how could he have sent you? We don't know exactly. If you don't know where he is, how could he have sent you? Safe. Good. Where is he? You don't know where Mulder is. Who told you I was here? To help you. I don't know that I need any help. Who are you? Bureau. Pardon me if that doesn't put me at ease. What do you mean? 
Let me see your ID. Agent Wilmore. I know I can trust you. Who told you I was here? Friend. Listen, I'm really not in the mood. Just tell me who you are. I know I can trust you. Who told you I was here? He can't tell you. Ridiculous. You better explain yourself or I'm calling for help. Friend of yours. Who? I don't know his name. Ridiculous. You better explain yourself or I'm calling for help. What's the matter with you? Don't do that. Papers? Papers, yeah, you'd like that. Tax returns. My tax returns, probably. You from the IRS? No, actually, we're... Never mind, Jane. I don't want to know. Computer disks. Huh. You're a good guesser. They're all pervasive, that's for sure. Magnetism. The heart of modern man. Keep trying. Slide projector. No, no, you couldn't be further off the mark. Think. Do you eat breakfast today? It's the most important meal of the day. Computer? Someday, unless the Japanese have something to do with it. But for now, the answer is no. Tape recorder. You're a bloodhound. You're closing in now. What kind? Copy machine? What, like a Xerox machine? Yes. You're right. You're out of here. Floppy disks? <laughs> They're useless. Forget it. Hard drive. Watch your mouth, son. Still pictures. Stills? No, Don. Make a move, you know. Moving pictures. Yes. And no. Digital video. What? I never heard of it. But then, I'm not on the cutting edge anymore. You've lost me there. Motion picture film. Look, I like a good flick, but this ain't no bargain matinee, and there are no previews of coming attractions. Keep trying. Give me a hint. Okay, you're a good sport. Here goes. You cannot secure a package with this tape. Audio tape recorder? Oh, what a shame. What a disappointment. I thought you had so much potential. Aren't you embarrassed to be with this guy? Cellophane tape recorder? <laughs> Look, I like a joke as much as the next guy, but one more outburst like that and I will be forced to clear the courtroom. Video tape recorder? <gasps> You're like a laser. Like the light of the sun. Still pictures. Stills, no, Don, make a move, you know. Sorry, you lose.
I think he's looking for what's being stored in this facility. Oh, really? Uh-huh. And what would that be? An alien craft that landed in the waters of the Pacific. Uh-huh. Somehow I knew that was coming. Look, he don't know very much about Agent Mulder, so let me explain a few things to you. He can sometimes indulge in... What do you make of the fact that the guards were burned in the exact same fashion as the crew of the Terracon? Well, they've obviously been exposed to the same form of radiation. Although I have no idea what the source could be. I think I do. I know what's wrong with him. What? He's host to some kind of alien life form that controls him. Yeah, right. <laughs> Did he tell you to say that? It's very funny. Look, quit screwing around and tell me what the hell Mulder's up to. That explains the cattle mutilation. Agent Wilmore, fancy meeting you here. So it's you? Yes. It's me. I guess you're curious about what the hell's going on here. Well, yeah, the thought had crossed my mind. Oh? It was my job to divert attention away from the actual events. Plutonium smuggling. Russians. Wong. All made up. Actually, I made everything up. Why? Why? Money. Lots of it. It had nothing to do with any deeply held beliefs. It feels so good talking to you, but unfortunately, now I...